What are you up to, Shell? Painting. 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 The galley and the saloon, trying to finish it off. This is the second coat. Second coat? It's Actually, looking. Some of it's third coat. It's just the top bits that are second coat, really. It's looking pretty good, though, isn't it? Yeah. I just wish we'd got room to move all that stuff out the way so I can crack on. But yeah, we're, we're having problems moving stuff and finding places to put it. Especially now, the dinette's in. We've got that extra shelving in. Stuff's starting to go into the bedroom and bathroom. We're starting to, yeah, really run out of room now. It's giving us a feel of how it's gonna be, shall Yeah. We've got 60 days left. 60 days. 60 days. That's pretty, yeah, it's, it, it dawned on it dawned on me this morning when I when I come back from the bathroom and I was lying in bed and I was like, oh my life. 60 days. We have not got long left and we've got so much to do. And we've got to I'm find sure, work. I'm sure Noah had longer than that to build the ark. <laughs> <laughs> Probably. But if you think about it, we've had since April. Oh no, June. June. June we started, didn't we? But yeah, yeah. I'm sure he had longer. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know how long he had actually. I don't know. I don't think we'll squeeze two by two in here then. No. Well, we got. We've got two dogs. Yeah, I was going to say there's two of us and two dogs. Oh yeah, we're off by then. Yeah. I don't know if we'll get any the other way it's twos raining, on. You're going to need to flip and build an all. <laughs> it's nice stuff. <laughs> Back again. Still got my veteran gamers top on. Uh, I do wash, honestly. <laughs> I'm wearing the same clothes all the time. I know that. I know. So well, same jumpers on top of different layers. I've said that before. Uh, look, I've got like it's cold today. I've got three, three layers on. Um, <laughs> because it's freezing on this boat. It's probably colder in here it is outside still. But there we go. We're back again. Things are starting to feel real now. We've got 58 days before we move on to our boat. And we have to move on to our boat because our tenancy agreement's up where we live. And we've got to move by that day. It's by the end of February. So, yeah, things are starting to feel feel a lot more I'd say pressured now but I'm gonna crack on our stove is being installed on January the 8th by Lockgate stoves uh, it's all stripped ready for them to to get started so um, it's going in the same position obviously I'm gonna to have to move the kitchen units stripped out all the chimney ready just got to take those two bolts off and that should all come undone fairly simple i've put in the supplies for them so there's a diesel supply obviously because i think all of the reflex stoves are diesel and there's an electrical supply for the pump i think it, it's it fitted onto the return but it pumps the water around the system and that needs to be done here. And then in the engine bay where the diesel pipe leads to, there will be an electrical cable running to where the pump's going to supply that as well. But that's happening in a few days. It's all finished off. All the trim's been done. It's looking pretty cool. Shower room and toilet. The radiators are on now. I've gone back entry with that pipe work. That's looking okay. Just need to sort the light out. Radiators are on all over really. Just got a box in that pipe work. The bedroom, all the trim's done for that as well. Ready for the flooring. I've tried to make it as square as I could. So I just need to meticulously clean now. 
make sure it's all good to go. And yeah, it'll be all hands on deck, literally, because we'll be putting the floor down then. Um, I've never done flooring before. It's also nice as well to see all the lights recessed in their positions. It just looks more of a, a finished job. Uh, yeah, I like it. I like it. I like it. I'm not looking forward to the shower, but there we go. That's one job for tomorrow. But for now, I've got to clean all this darn mess. We're going to go to um, the shop tomorrow and buy some grey paint for the gunnels. So we've got Go Fast Stripes. I've not cleaned in here, but I have cleaned in the toilet shower area. You'll see it's nice and clean now. I measured the hole just to make sure that it will take the trap which is just there and that is going to hopefully work okay at the moment I'm in the wardrobe I'm going to be connecting up the the uh, whale pump the water pump and accumulator so like I said when I originally installed this we just wanted it hopefully muffled to some degree so it's not too loud but hopefully being under the wardrobe and being boxed in it should be okay the one thing i did want to show you i got some for christmas from shell and they're lights that just attach to the end of your fingers with this cool strap and there's an on off switch just there you press that off it goes Back on again. These are really cool. That they're, they're they can offer so much light when you're working in small spaces. I'm really looking forward to using them in the engine bay when I've got to replace the battery. But yeah, it just allows you to see exactly where you you're working and moving your hand to. It's it's brilliant. Such a brilliant idea. Right, so the pump's connected. That's the bedroom floor in. All done. Did it in half a day. It seems like nice quality flooring. So the expansion gaps on the side here um, are 17mm. That's right, 17mm. So that allows for a 9mm um, board as part of the boxing and then an 8mm. Um, an 8mm expansion gap for the flooring and the expansion gap is pretty much all the way around so once the boxing's in uh, we'll get some bead and then we can put that in then and finish off the floor but uh, it made an absolute mess I didn't realize how messy it was but I should have showed you really um, but <laughs> I've cleaned it all now there was literally like black dust all the way up the walls and uh, Shell would have seen it she would have cried but uh, I've cleaned it all now, so it's uh, it's all back to normal again until tomorrow. But what I need to do first is get a threshold strip, which I'm hoping to get tonight from Screwfix. Um, without that threshold strip, which needs to tuck under the floor, um, I'm, I'm going to struggle. So, yeah, I'm hoping that I can get that just now. That should, uh, that should get us started then for tomorrow. If not, I've got to find something else to do. There's the underlay. It's really, really cool. So it's got a gold bottom. It's cool, doesn't it? And uh, yeah, it's quite thick. It's about four mil thick, I think. But really, really good stuff. That's the floor. So it's a eight mil floor. It's. Um, Got a 30 year guarantee apparently. Anti static, light resistant, pet proof, which we need because of the doggies. Uh, it's water resistant. Um, yeah, apparently the floor that takes it all.
Day two of Shell's birthday weekend. Shell's <laughs> <laughs> birthday is not here this year. It's not here this year. Neither was mine last. We're just cracking on with this lot. We've made a mess. That's what we've certainly done today. But we're just clearing that up now. So, so far, we've got the floor down now, in the bathroom, shower room, and the bed now. That's all done. So that's the first half of the boat, pretty much floored up. The only thing left to do in here is, you should be able to see that on that video marking, yeah. I've just marked, I put the shower on top of where that flooring is and then marked around it um, with the expansion gap as well, so 8mm away from around the shower edge. So that should give the flooring enough expansion space. Um, we left some packers and stuff on the side so it, it was 19 mil altogether to account for, is it 19? No, 15? No, 17. That accounted for a 9 mil plywood boxing and an 8 mil expansion gap. So yeah, that's the first half of the boat done. How do you feel about that, Shell? Amazing. <laughs> so tomorrow, we've got someone from Lockgate Stoves coming along to install the Reflex diesel stove. Uh, I'm pretty excited about that, are you? Yeah. We're going to have heat. Yeah, a bit nervous, but yeah, excited at the same time. Yes. It's another milestone. Another milestone. Another one to tick off the list. So the fire, as I've mentioned before in previous videos, is going to be um, installed where the existing one was. But we've made a plinth, and the back of that plinth will span over the pipe work. So hopefully that doesn't affect anything then, as far as uh, pipe work goes. And there's also a steel stainless steel plate that's going to sit on top of that with a lip on. So if it does. Uh, leak then it'll just be caught in the stainless steel tray uh, so that's about it for today well so far we're going to clear up I'm going to put in the supply as well for the fuel pump which is well I'm going to do that now I've got my uh, I've got my light on my head and my my new fancy dancing finger lights so I can uh, see where I'm working at but they're cool so that's it so far, turn off for a bit.